good early morning to you there. I am East Coast Weather Association's meteorologist, Mike Griffith. It's about 2.53 a.m. here on the East Coast, 1-18-2017. And I'm just here to talk about some CFS model imagery, the Climate Forecast System Version 2 by NOAA NSEP right there in College Park, Maryland, just north of D.C., northeast of D.C., actually on the Maryland side. And that's where they run these supercomputers uh, to forecast long-range climate outlooks as far as a general temperature trend, with the higher values being above normal and below normal. This is something called 500 millibar heights. This is pressure patterns in the upper atmosphere that we can use to correlate temperatures down at the surface as either above or below normal. So anywhere in the redder colors is above normal and anywhere in the blue colors is below normal. We can see much of New England, Northeast, even Canada. Huge area of above normal temperatures extending all the way down into South Carolina and maybe even the tip of Georgia here as we go into the south. So just above normal as we head into 24th of January. Uh, things start to shift drastically from the 24th of January to the end of this month, according to the climate forecast system. And it looks like a lot of troughing here in the east coast and cold air, and especially over North Carolina. And even maybe Hampton Roads, it looks like a lot of this cold air is going to be centered. And this is the th through the 31st of January, from the 24th to 31st of January. So looking favorable for some type, type of coastal developments here anywhere along the Mid-Atlantic uh, as far as uh, snow goes into the middle of uh, two weeks from now about that, or even a week and a half. The end of, the end of January is what we're looking at. And here is through the 7th of February here. This is overall 500 millibar height trends. And keep in mind, this is just a mean or an average. So there are some single models that could be close to the actual solution that it will be. And some of these are trending towards troughing here in the Northeast, including all the way down to North Carolina, which would include Virginia and Hampton Roads. And it looks like we are going to be in a much colder pattern through the 7th of February so that is favorable for any type of mid-Atlantic system f forming, maybe right off of Norfolk. That's what I'm thinking for uh, the next, uh, over the course of the next uh, almost three weeks or so, I should say, just sort of a month. Also, some troughing up here in uh, Canada, and this could extend all the way down here into Virginia as well, because, again, this is just a mean. This is just an average of what we can expect um, as far as a bunch of different ensemble runs altogether. Through the 21st of February, nothing special except some warmer than usual conditions across the deep south in Texas and even back into the uh, Southern California here. And then we were right back into the last week of February from the 21st to the 28th this year, looking at more troughing here in the Northeast. And the troughing could extend all the way down into North Carolina as far as any type of winter weather and also up in the Hampton Roads. Winter is not over yet, folks. Don't take it as uh, something being completely uh, done. Uh, and we're going to look at some GEFS, GEFS, I should say, model runs tomorrow, or I should say later today, actually. Keep it tuned right here to East Coast Weather Association. I am meteorologist Mike 